Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss inner classes in Java. Inner class means one class which is a member of another class. In Java, just like methods, variables of a class too can have another class as its member. Writing a class within another class is allowed in Java. The class written within is called the nested class. And the class that holds the inner class is called the outer class. The scope of nested class is bounded by the scope of its enclosing class. It means if class B is defined within class A, then class B does not exist independently of class A. Basically, there are four types of inner classes in Java. Nested inner class, method local inner class, anonymous inner class, and static nested classes. Nested inner class can access any private instance variable of outer class. Like any other instance variable, we can have access modifiers, private, protected, public, and default modifier. Like class, interface can also be nested and can have access specifiers. Then comes method local inner class. Method local inner class can be declared within a method of an outer class. Then comes static nested class. Static nested classes are not technically an inner class. They are like a static member of outer class. Then anonymous inner class. Anonymous inner class are declared without any name at all. It is an inner class without a name and for which only a single object is created. Normally we create a class. It means we declare a class, but anonymous classes are expressions which means that we define the anonymous class in another expression in simple words we can say the anonymous inner class is a class without name and only one object is created anonymous class is useful when we have to create an instance of the object with overloading methods of a class or interface without creating a subclass of a class Anonymous class can be created in two ways. Class can be as an can be as abstract or interface. Now we'll see one example of inner class. So here a class outer. It has a variable outer variable and a method test. And inside this test method, we have created an object of inner class. And using that object, we are calling a method of that inner class. And as any other member of this class, we have created an inner class inside outer class. This inner class has a method display. And in this display, we are trying to print the value of this outer variable. And then this inner class ends here and an object of this inner class is created in a method of outer class here you can see and using this object of this inner class we are calling the method of this inner class here inner dot display then in another class where we define main function here we are creating an object of outer class outer and using this object, we are calling invoking this test method of this outer class. And this test method is creating an object of inner class here. And using this object, it is calling the method of inner class display here, which is going to print the value of this outer variable. So this will be the output of this program. If we execute, then this is going to be the output of this particular program. Then a nested class has access to the members, including private members of the class in which it is nested. But the enclosing class does not have access to the member of the nested class. We'll see an example for this here. So outer class, it has a variable, outer variable, then a method test. And inside this test method, we have created an object of in our class and using that object we are calling method of inner class and then we have created inner class 
inside this outer class as a normal member of outer class like here variable then method and then inner class within the outer class now this inner class has a local variable x and it has a method display in this display method what we are trying to do we are trying to print the value of the outer variable which is a member variable of outer class here and then this class ends here in a class ends here then this outer class has one more method show x and in this show x we are trying to print the value of x but this will give error because x is known not known here x is local to this inner class this inner class can access all the members all the variables of outer class but outer class cannot access the member variables which are declared inside the inner class because this variable is local to this inner class so we cannot access it here so when we'll try to execute this program this program is going to give us a compilation error at the compile time it is going to give error this program will not be executed this will not compile because here we created an object of outer class but here in this method we are trying to print x which is not known here because this x is local to this inner class now next type is method local inner class it is possible to write a class within a method and this can be a local type like local variable the scope of inner class is restricted within the method a method inner class can be instantiated only within the method where the inner class is defined so here in this you see outer class and this outer class has a method and inside this method we have taken an integer variable and inside this outer method inside this outer method we have created an inner class here you can see and this inner class contains a method which is trying to print the value of this n this can be accessed because this class is defined inside this method only and then the end of the inner class and then here the inner class is instantiated inside the method only but after the definition ends of this inner class after this this class inner class is instantiated here and then using this object of this inner class we are trying to call the method of this inner class print and then in the main function we are creating an object of outer class and using that object we are calling the method of this outer class so this will be the output of this program next type is we can define inner class within a for loop also see here a class outer and it contains a variable and a method inside this method we have a for loop here see this is a method of outer class and it contains a variable the outer class contains a variable inside this method we have a for loop inside for loop we have created an inner class which contains a method display and here we are trying to print the value of this outer variable and then the we have here we are instantiating the inner class an object of inner class is created and using this object we are trying to call the method of this inner class and then in the main function an object of the outer class is created and using this object we are trying to call the method of outer class this test method and when we'll execute this program this is going to be the output because this for loop starts from 0 and it goes till i is less than 10 so it is possible to define 
an inner class within our for loop also. Then next comes our static nested class. See, this static nested class are not technically known as inner classes. These classes are similar to the static members of the outer class. Static nested classes can access only static members of the outer class. We do not need to instantiate the outer class. It can be accessed directly using the static members. Here you can see an outer class and it contains two variables. One is int x, another is a static variable y and then a static nested class created and the static nested class contains a method in a method and here it is printing this method message and it is trying to print y it can access y because y is declared as a static but this class cannot access x because that is non-static variable and then this class ends here and in the main function we have instantiated inner class no need to instantiate outer class and using this inner class instantiation this object of this inner class we are calling this method of this inner class and this will be the output of this program now what are the advantage advantages of using inner classes inner class could be used only by the outer class. So we can say nested classes represent a special type of relationship. That is, it can access all the members, the data members and the method of the outer class, including private members. And nested classes are used to develop more readable and maintainable code because it logically group classes and interfaces in one place only. It provides easy access as the inner object is implicitly available inside an inner code optimized inside the outer code so code optimization requires less code to write so in this we can avoid to have a separate class so all these are the advantages of using inner class thank you so much